Hi everybody. I had no plans on doing this today, but it is really quiet in the house right now. Like you would think nobody is home and the people that left took the animals with them. <laughs> it is so quiet. So I thought I would do the voice over for this. Um, it's week two of July in my creative diary. So I don't know the names of the stamps. I know in one of my videos, probably the first one, I think it's the only other one I've done for the creative diary. I showed the stamp sets. I think they're pretty much just called um, creative diary stamp set and that's it. And then creative diary stamp set two, something like that. Like it's really simple. So I am just taking a border stamp and dividing out the sections. And this washi tape is actually Dina Wakeley's and not Diane's, but I loved the scalloped and the colors in it. So I decided to use that one. And for these, like, I don't plan to have every single week the same. I'm not saying I'm never going to repeat a style that I did, but I'm just playing and learning and getting a feel for what works for me and what I like and what I don't. So I was, um, I really didn't need to because, I mean, this spread here that I'm showing you now is the week that we are in right now. So I really didn't need to work on any more creative diary pages, but last night I just wasn't in the mood to really do much of anything and I just couldn't, I don't know, you have those moods where you feel like I want to play or I should play. I have nothing else to do, so I want to play, <laughs> but then you go to do it and it's like nothing's working. Like you're, you're just standing there staring at it. <laughs> That was what I was like last night. My husband and I went for a drive and everything just to get out of the house for a bit. And then I came back and it was probably close to when I should have been winding down and, you know, getting sleepy to go to bed. <laughs> That's when I decided to uh, dive in. But I did another spread. It's almost finished last night and I'm really liking how that one is turning out. It's really, it's bright and colorful, but at the same time, there's so much dark and grunge in the pieces that it doesn't look super bright, but yet it does look bright. But anyways, I'm looking forward to sharing that one. So here, um, I'm just playing around with the pieces. Like I have some images already stamped. So I tried to use those so I didn't have to do any stamping. I don't mind stamping so much, I guess. It's just the cutting out. I don't know. <laughs> so really I didn't, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted that left side of the page to look a little busier, like to have more going on. Not necessarily in my journaling because, I mean, I don't think there's a whole lot to write about. So I thought, you know, if I make it more, you know, fill it up more with pretty looking things and leave less room for the writing then I think I would like that more. So this stamp, I think it's from Don't Won't Can't. I'm just gonna double check on that. Wow, I was right. I actually remembered the name of the stamp set. That is amazing. <laughs> I am so impressed with myself right now. <laughs> so this, I kind of got a color theme going on for these two pages. I thought like, um, like the red family, like red, orange, yellow, like those colors. 
and then I also bring in some blue. It just started happening and I went with it. So I just colored that in with my Posca paint pens and I'm looking through the stickers and again they're just called um, Creative Diary stickers and then it's like basically collection one and collection two. And the woman that is with that um, scalloped journaling block that I just did, that is from, I don't know what she calls them, but she has um, these already like stamped images, I guess you would call them, like ready to go and ready to color. Hold on. They are simply called die cuts, but DY dash cuts. And this is an old stamp set. I know you can get these letters in um, her big red rubber, which I just recently got. I haven't used them yet, but I just re recently got the red rubber ones. These, I'm not sure if I may have got those at Michael's like years and years and years ago. So I doubt you can still get them. I'm just using some stamps again from that creative diary set. I do have one set I think that's creative dialogue. So if you're looking for the stamp sets that I'm using, just look up creative diary and creative dialogue stamps and you should see them. And I haven't even intentionally intentionally done this, but um, I've been sticking with Dilutions products in my creative diary. So, like I said, it wasn't intentional, but I've been doing it, and I really like it. It's not to say that I won't incorporate something else in, in it that's not Dilutions, but... I find it so handy, like I have this little thing and I just have all the creative diary stuff in it, so it makes it so much easier to just pull that over and pick from there. It makes the decision process a lot easier, <laughs> which is where I tend to waste a lot of time. Yes, guys, look at that. I just cut up my Ranger craft mat. I have two and they're both really I need a new one they're um, pretty ratty so I thought it it's always a pain in the butt to have the full sheet because if you have your book on it then it slides around and it's big so I just thought I would cut a piece off and use it as a palette I also cut another piece and I used it to um, um, put my images on when I'm applying glue to the backs of them So Just a tip instead of like if you're in need of a new mat instead of throwing out your old one Cut it up and use it like this I actually bought and I haven't opened it yet on Amazon, I just bought some of these sheets. They look the same thing. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what the quality is like. But it was like, I don't know, five sheets or something for, I don't know, maybe $25 or something. I don't know. If you're interested, I would have to um, go back and look it up to find the information for you. And remember, I'm in Canada too, so it'll be cheaper in the U.S. So that red that I'm using there for the body, that is actually hair that I cut off from another um, collage piece. I can't even remember what the face looks like because I cut it off quite a while ago. 
but I never threw it out because, you know, you never know if you can use it for something. And I just happened to use it for the body. <laughs> but I like it. I was looking for a piece to use for the body, like for a dress. And I wasn't liking all the other things that I tried. And I put that there and it was like, hey, that works. I really liked carrying the um, red dots across too and incorporating it into the left side of the page as well. I think it just ties it all in together. And I didn't want my house to be the color it was because there was already so much red going on and then the border that I'm going to glue down was also red and orange and yellow so it was like all blending in too much and I wanted a little bit more blue so I took my Posca paint pens and did some coloring in very loose as you saw like I wasn't being picky with it I like how it worked out that the feet just kind of like placed almost perfectly on the wave, like the wavy border. It worked out so well. Yeah, when I put the dream down, I, I didn't like how close it was to the head. So luckily there was enough time I was able to pull off the head and reposition it. It is a great help having the background already done. Like it's, it saves so much time, but at the same time, I, sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle for me because it's like, okay, well this is the week I'm on. So I have to use this page and it's like, well, what if I'm not feeling these colors right now? <laughs> or what if that's not like, cause this was pretty, dull like it was black and white and it's like well what if I'm in a colorful mood <laughs> or if I get and when I get to a page that's going to be purple like holy might have to paint it over black <laughs> we'll see I'm sure there's a purple page in there somewhere So it's, it's helpful, but it's also a bit of a challenge, but so far it hasn't been too bad, but it is so nice having it already done, especially for something like this. Like for me, the creative diary, I don't want to be, I don't want it to be time consuming. Like I want it to look good, but I don't want it taking forever to get it done because if it's going to eat up too much of my time where I'm not getting to do other things that I want to do, I'd, I'll end up dropping this. I know what I'm like. I've tried doing planners before and they were just so time consuming that it's like I put more work <laughs> into making the pages look pretty. And there was nothing going on in my life that I felt was that exciting that I even needed the planner for, but it was just so time consuming. I wasn't getting to do any like regular arting and it's like, that's not worth it. So, I mean, that was years ago. And I've always tried to find something that worked for me and I've never been able to find it. So hopefully this is it. Like I have another um, agenda, planner, whatever you want to call it. That's just super basic. No, nothing pretty. Like I went to Staples. Um, 
I don't know if that's just a Canada store, if that's in the States as well, I'm not sure. But I just got a very basic planner agenda type thing where it was just columns because I just wanted it for jotting things down, like when there's projects due and stuff like that. So I have a very basic one for all that boring stuff. And this one is more like for more main things. Like it can put appointments in there too, but more like things that you may want to remember. Like my son had a job interview, um, our family getting their COVID shots and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's only week two, but so far I can feel, I can feel like it may, it may work for me. fingers crossed. <laughs> so I posted in the community section. I know it's called community, but I don't know whether it's a community tab or what, but if you go to my YouTube channel, there's, I don't know, there's a section that says community. I think it's like about videos, playlists, and then it might be community or something like that. So I posted a question, it was a poll, um, asking whether or not you guys were interested in these videos. So if you haven't already, if you could go to the community part and place your vote. So I know if it's a good idea to continue doing these videos or if it's a waste of time. <laughs> So if you could just vote and I don't know what answer you're giving. So you don't have to feel bad, you know, saying no pictures on Facebook's good. Um, Instagram is good enough. Don't, don't worry about it. Like don't feel bad. I'm asking if I didn't want to know, I wouldn't ask. So I still felt like something needed like in that little corner. So I looked for something and then I went back to my black book because I knew I had used this image before, but I couldn't remember if I had just used the phone or the whole thing with the bird on top. So I was just looking because if I had only used the phone, then I was going to look for the bird instead of cutting out a whole new image. I find with collage, the crazier the images, the more I like them. Like, I think she should come out with a set that is so wacky <laughs> that she wonders if anybody will actually buy it. Because that's what I would like. <laughs> Something completely insane. I keep thinking I should come up with my own collage sheets, like not like the freebie that I did one time, like that's not even really my style, but I just don't know how to go about it. And I have so much fun playing with everybody else's collage sheets, I don't, I don't seem to get the time to even think about doing my own. I don't know, maybe one day. Okay, so that's everything. I can't believe how much I just babbled on and on and on. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to go to the community section and place your vote. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.